Kitty COVID shots. They happened today. The first doses went into arms today, one day after the CDC signed off on Pfizer's vaccine for younger children. Now, if you're looking to get an appointment for your child, it can be a little tricky. NBC Barry's Ian Cole walks us through how to find one of those coveted first appointments and how to navigate the challenges that you may run into. If you're a parent looking for an appointment, there's a few things you'll want to know. First off, the state's My Turn website that we used earlier this year, they'll start taking appointments starting tomorrow. So you'll check back uh, in about an hour. Kaiser Permanente is doing the same thing, but there are plenty of locations offering the kids vaccine. It feels like early 2021 all over again if you're searching for vaccine appointments. And tonight we ran into some roadblocks. Either sites like Walgreens didn't have any available or they did, but we weren't clicking fast enough and those times disappeared. We tried the same on CVS. Random stores would have one here or there, then gone. On the Santa Clara County website, however, the fairgrounds, Mountain View, Gilroy, and East San Jose were booked solid, but there were plenty in Morgan Hill. And which band aid would you guys like? Bay Area health officers say to also check in with your kid's doctor. This Los Gatos pediatrician's office posted availability on Instagram yesterday, and now 500 kids are signed up. The first ones getting vaccinated this morning. Here we go. The Zanato sisters are excited to be able to celebrate again. They're actually pretty excited. Um, I think things that we've been kind of not doing or avoiding, like um, indoor birthday parties, which were so fun, and gathering indoors for Christmas and things like that. My girls are big Disneyland fans. And so we've been kind of waiting, and we're excited to go back to doing some of that stuff again. With the influx of kids getting the vaccine, Santa Clara County says it won't affect those people trying to get a booster. While there's high demand now, there are less than 170,000 kids in the county, far less than when adults became eligible in mid-April. Late tonight, after a couple hours of searching, I was able to get one at CVS, another at Walgreens, both in San Jose. And health leaders say when they get more doses in, they will continue to update their website. So your best bet, keep checking back. Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, thank you, Ian. So now that young kids can get the shot, does that mean they're going to have to show proof of vaccination? Well, in a statement tonight, San Francisco says it's waiting until families have had an opportunity to get their kids vaccinated before potentially requiring proof of vaccination. In a town hall yesterday, health officer Dr. Susan Phillips said that won't be for at least eight weeks. Now, venues across the Bay Area, like the SAP Center in San Jose, are also looking into whether to require proof. The Sharks told us tonight that the team is reviewing the CDC guidance on COVID vax for kids and that it will update fans. So, have questions? We are sure you do. We have some answers for you. Check out NBCBayArea.com. Scroll down to our coronavirus pandemic section. There we've posted a new interview with UCSF COVID expert, Dr. Peter Chin Hong. He answers parents' questions about the COVID vaccine for kids.